people were doing so much of this that they had to put a sign up. Shoes recommended. All pets must be controlled. Clean up after your pet. No harassing the ducks and fish. No bicycles on the dock. No picnicking on the patio. No swimming in the marina. No fishing in the marina area. See, the fish have read this. That's why they're up here. So if you walk out here and look, they've got one thing that's really cool. they got this little, little boat ride. That looks like that could be 60s. Boy, look at these fish. Wow. But this is it, friends. Right on the top. So I believe that this right here was the spot. They've also got this old pirate fortune teller over here. You better watch him. He's got a gold tooth. I'll tell you your fortune. If you put money in here, you're going to lose it. A. Or I. I believe that's it up there, up on top. So friends, I talked to the owner. She was very, very nice, or one of the owners. And she said that this is in fact the building and they were in fact here, although this was a beauty shot. They didn't actually film up there. They just used that as the spot for the house. And then of course it was shot on a soundstage somewhere, but they physically came here. They uh, she water skied here, but this was not here. It was further down, about two miles down. So we're going to go down there and find where that's at. And she also told me something else to look for. So we're going to go check it out. This boat is for sale, Wild Wild West. It's like a nice one, a carver. It's like 115000 no, 110,000. It's a really nice boat. There. Yep, see, there's another fish feeding on top of the water. Catfish. So they say they're bottom feeders, they're top feeders too. Beautiful. A helicopter out in the distance out there, let's see if I can find it. There he is. Is over the Hoover Dam. So the dam is out and around. So to get there, when you're coming down this road, instead of going straight to the harbor, straight, you'll make a right on that road and go all the way to the far end. So I was out here looking for something else. I'm looking for Boulder Harbor, and you see these old, abandoned, this is government stuff, it looks like to me. I'm gonna pull up in here, I can't, it says no trespassing, and we're right here by the, the ranger's station, so I don't want Yogi to get me. They were little hotel rooms. All abandoned now. So friends, this is in fact Boulder Harbor. So this is where they would have come, Elvis and Ann Margaret, and she would have, uh, they would have boated and skied and done all that stuff. They actually did boat and ski on this water. And you know, Elvis was an avid water skier. And she said that the, that the marina that you saw with the house on the top of it at the time of filming was here. And I think what has happened is the water receding so much that they literally had to move it and this was the boat ramp, <laughs> believe it or not. That was the boat ramp right here. The water was this high. So the marina would have been right by this boat ramp. So back at that time, this would have gone to the harbor. And you can see that they're putting boats in way down there, but the harbor would have been up in here or the marina would have been literally up in here when Elvis was here. And you could see just the tops of those, the tip tops that you see, you can only see the barely tip top of that mountain right there. So I'm gonna see if I can find the shots in the movie, but it would have been tucked away over here in this little cove. 
step out and just take a look around. You know, I'm sometime, I am sometime inclined to just jump back in my vehicle and drive off and then later you regret not having a wide shot of this kind of stuff where you can see. So if you can imagine that was the boat ramp at some point up there. Well, I don't know if that's true, but this seems fairly new. But somewhere over in here, I mean, you could, well, I mean, you can see it. The white is right there. So that would make the water level be up here pretty good ways. So I think the water level dropped from way up there, maybe to this level, and then dropped all the way to that level. So they had to adjust based off of that. But where the white is, is where the level was. So we'll look in the movie and see if we can tell any of that. But if the water level was up there, then that means that this was all underwater, but it was really close. You can see it was pretty shallow, but this is deep right over in here. So we'll just have to see if we can recognize anything. And you see, there's also a little house right there. I wonder if that is in the movie and there's stairs right here. Hmm. We'll have to just look and see, won't we? So this was not a great find being able to come out here. After I watched the movie again, after I got back, I realized that most of the scenes that were shot here, the, uh, the skiing scenes looked like green screen. So I don't know if Elvis and Ann ever came here ever and Margaret ever came here. Um, and, but for the most part, I know that some of it was filmed here, but, and that beauty shot of that building was, but I don't know if they ever came. So I came in the station on the other side, I'm going out a different way. And the reason I'm coming out this way is this is where you stop and pay to get in <clears throat> is because there was another scene from the movie shot down here if I could find it and I'm gonna try my best to find it tell you where the landmarks are so if you're ever out this way you can find it so if you look right here this is 20 310 bicycle rental Lake Mead boat storage is what she said. So I'm gonna pull up in here and ask a question if I can catch somebody. So these are some landmark points, the uh, bike rental and the boat storage place. Two landmarks, 2310, and I'll give you the name of the street. So let's just ask a question. So friends, I needed a little pick me up. A little insulted that it was called a fat boy. But you know what? We'll eat it anyway. All right. So I stopped here at Laker Plaza Bicycle Rentals. Right here. You see that it's 2310. I'll put the address up. He said he did not know anything about Viva Las Vegas being filmed anywhere around here. Although that lady told me that there was a road. We're going to have to find the road. And you can actually see Las Vegas down there. Look. It is 21 miles away from where we're at right here. So the boat company storage is right behind me. She says on this road on the right hand side, Las Vegas, Lake Las Vegas Parkway, that they filmed some of the race scenes. And she says the reason she knows that is her mother nearly got a ticket on this road Now you can see that it's a, um, a neighborhood of some sort, but her mom passed a police officer when they were doing race scenes on this road. So this is completely something, a story told to me by the lady that ran that, uh, marina that we went to. So if it's true or not i have no way of verifying it unless somebody that would know uh could contact me i will put the email down in the comments and contact me if you know anything about this race scene being filmed on this road or where it was filmed i know that it was some of it was filmed on mount charleston which is on the other side of town from las vegas from here so as i mentioned it says it's on the other side of town this lady says that her mom said that they turn right 
right here, you see where it says East Lake Mead Parkway, and the road turns to the right and is green right there on the left of the road. She says that they were filming up in that road right there, which would be uh, Lake Las Vegas Parkway. So whether it's true or not, I'm not 100% sure. That's eyewitness testimony from somebody that's there that works at that harbor or actually owns it. And uh, so it is very plausible. We are, in fact, headed to UNLV, the University of Las Vegas. A scene from Viva Las Vegas was filmed here. We're going to see if we can find the spot. Stay tuned. So they're boating down here, giving away pizza. The quality voter. I don't think anything could be more appropriate than the name of this library at UNLV. These kids been lied to so much that they believe a lot of the rhetoric. Yes, indeed. So we're headed here to the Barrick Museum of Art. <laughs> and I could have parked right here. I just knew how to get in here, but I don't. Finally here, friends. Marjorie Barrick Museum of Art. So we're gonna go in here and I'll tell you what happened here. Stay tuned. So this room, friends, and this is art, by the way, is where the gym scene from Viva Las Vegas was filmed. You can still see the parquet floor. I'm gonna see if I can find the wall. Look at the ceiling. I wonder if it was like that. Now you can see there's tiles up there that have, are definitely old. But you see, this is the back of the gym. You see how you've got that post right there? There's a door here, but you see there's a post there too. And you can see that post behind them. I believe that the dancing would have been on the other side of that door, somewhere in there, because this is the back side of the gym. So I'm gonna see if I can find somebody that would nicely let me in there. But this is a art museum. And these blow-ups are art. That's what they're calling it. A little bizarre for me. But art is in the eye of the beholder, I'd say. Hmm. <laughs> these things. says for me to try it on. So, okay. Wow, it's really heavy. What do you think? That was history. And you know, y'all filmed a movie in here. Do you know where that happened at? In here? I was, was talking to someone who said one of the unique things about the space is that uh, Elvis danced on the floor. I sure did, and Ann Barber. And, yeah. and I say, he now it's on the stage, uh -huh. though, and it, I think it's on this side. Is the stage still there? I said to her, people come asking where it was shot, and we don't know. Is there a stage here? No stage. Because it's, yeah. have you watched the video? Yeah. It's on the stage. Yeah. And it looks it was, like it's on the side instead of on the end. Part of it was shot in the original gym. Okay. The other part of it was shot in the studio. Okay. So, so we're going out the side door because I believe the stage, see it was built in 1960, including this side right here. So I believe the stage could have been right here where these offices are. because this is clearly part of the building. It 
So this side of the building, based off of the the videos, the 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 way the gym is turned, the gym is this way. So the gym would be in this direction. This was clearly built during then because you saw the uh, uh, the cornerstone that gives you the date. I think the stage was here, and they were shooting this way towards the towards this wall. Let's see what we see down here. Let's see if it's tall enough to be a second floor. That'd be the key. And the answer is no. So you see this, the building's not very high right here. So I don't think it's possible for that to be the uh, where it stuck off. I don't think that's possible. So let's look back here on the back of the building because she seemed convinced that the part that was back here was added on, but it all looks very original to me. Let's see if it's tall enough. Okay, that's what I like to hear. So you can see the top of the gym. Is that part is added on, but the other part is not. So this part is tall enough. And it sticks off past, that's the edge of the gym. So this would have been the, the back part. Now this could have been added on. Let's go look on the side and see what we think about it. walk out here so we can see across the side of it. I may even need to go down this alley. I'm going to go down the alley and see what I can see. Okay, so there is the, the back part of the gym and you can see that part sticks off. But it wouldn't make sense for it to not be the height of the rest of it. But you can see that sticks off from it. That's the other edge of it. So there you go, friends. I don't know. The gym goes way up there. So friends, we still don't know anything. And this was added on to this side of the building. But one of the things is, Wherever it was, it was all concrete. And what I mean is it was the walls were poured concrete. It was not cinder blocks like this. If you look at the photo, I'm gonna show you one now. It was poured concrete, which is what those walls are. You can see them. So I'm gonna do some aerials. Maybe from an aerial we can find where it used to be here. And it's been torn down now. What I do know too is that the, if it was on the back side over there and the doors were higher, there would have been stairs down. Now the doors are level with the ground, which would make more sense. But there's a lot of gymnasiums that have uh, stages at the end of them, and this one doesn't appear to be one of them. Hmm. 
There it is, Marjorie Barrick Museum of Art. So friends, although it is all over the internet that these scenes were filmed here at this gymnasium, I used my Starsky-like research skills, not my hutch, my Starsky, and I don't think so. This was on a soundstage in LA, not here at UNLV. I can find no evidence of any of this structurally working with that building. Didn't happen here. Including palm trees. So it would have been walls constructed like these. You can see where the lines are in them, but it was smooth on the inside. May have been rough like that though. Hmm. So I'm at UNLV here filming, doing the Elvis stuff and got back and had me a little citation on here for 20 bucks. And you know, the weird thing is, is not one person here, you see not one of them has a, um, has put any money in any of them. Now they have this. So does that give them the ability to, to not put any money in? If it does, UNLV, I'm going to have to play your game. I'm, you know what? I'm not feeling included. And you're not making me feel like I'm, I'm in, I'm part of the group just because I don't have one of those stickers on my car. I don't think that's right. It, it makes me not feel good. And so I don't think I should have to pay it. You know, the way that y'all are doing things on these college campuses is all about how you feel. I don't feel like a parking violator. I feel like I should be included just like anybody else here, whether I have a sticker or not. So what you're saying is when I have that, I don't have the sticker, then I'm not included. So y'all are not being inclusive. I don't know. I think you may be not being nice to me and I, I don't, don't feel good about it. So I don't, I don't know what y'all are going to do about it, but I don't feel included. So that's what I'm going to do with this parking ticket. They're going to have to make me feel included, friends. I don't even know what happened to it. That's not right for you to leave me out just because I don't have <laughs> things disappear. Oh, here it is. It's rolled up. So UNLV, just because I don't have a sticker, are you really going to not include me in parking here? Hmm. Something doesn't seem right about that. Consistency, friends. I call for consistency. That's all I call for.